welcome to Fly With The Dashes. If you don't already know us, my name's Amber and behind the camera is Billy and our channel is all about general aviation. We're on a personal flying mission to go from this to this as fast as our skills will allow us. So over the next six months, in an effort to help build our hours while we're finishing off our instrument rating, we're going to be visiting 35 of the best UK airfields as voted for by you guys. And we'll be bringing you honest reviews about the runways, things to do whilst you're there, and most importantly, the food, as it's all about good airfield grub and helping to plan that next cross-country adventure. This week we dropped into Bicester a former RAF base located about 10 miles north of Oxford. Originally constructed in 1926, but with flying history on the site dating back as far as 1911, it's probably one of the most well-preserved World War II bomber training stations in the UK. Having been just a gliding site for quite a while now, in 2020 the operations was taken over by the Vista Aerodrome Company, who sought to revitalise this great airfield, and in conjunction with Bista Motion, who handle the heritage automotive activity on the site, Bista looks set to become an absolute must visit for car and aviation enthusiasts alike. Bista Aerodrome has two runways, with 0624 being 650 metres by 50 metres wide, and runway 1634 at 790 metres by 50 metres. Joining procedures were all very straightforward and PPR can be done via their website, bistaero.com. I will note that with the recent really dry weather, which is making everything pretty much look like the Sahara Desert, that along with the fact the runways are exceedingly wide and as yet don't have any markings on, I did find it pretty difficult to determine actually where the runways were until I was in the overhead and staring at Sky Demon to give me a rough idea. Check out this Google Map aerial shot so you can see what I mean. Yep, just one big brown field. After shutting down, we were met by the aerodrome manager, Rob, who gave us a brief tour, explained some of the history, and then let us through the gate to the other side so we could explore everything else Bista Airfield had to offer. Rob pointed out that there's plenty of hangar space available for overnight visiting aircraft or anyone wishing to base long term at Bista Airfield. They even have an on-site Airbnb for pilots and passengers. We continued to explore the site, spotting both vintage and rally cars along the way. And then we stumbled across this place, the Skywave Gin Distillery. This boutique distillery was founded by Rachel and Andy, who have used their exotic worldwide travels to help craft unique flavour profiles and inspire their botanically infused recipes. Skywave Gin has amassed a total of 37 international medals since launching just three years ago and also scooped a gold and silver at the World Gin Awards earlier this year. Their Bista shop is about to expand to offer visitors an amazing gin experience including tapas evenings, cocktails and even gin and food pairings. As you can see I just couldn't help myself and we ended up buying two bottles including their absolutely delicious rhubarb and raspberry gin. Other flavours that I will definitely be back to purchase are their orange and Madagascan vanilla gin, as well as their spiced apple gin liqueur, which is a lovely winter warmer. Now guys, don't panic, there is literally something for everybody at Bista. Just round the corner from Skywave Gin is a microbrewery. Billy was in his element. I mean, just look at that happy little face. Launched in 2018, the Wrigley Monkey Brewery is open to the public and serves a vast selection of handcrafted lagers and ale to drink on site or take away. With a large outdoor seating area, it's a great place to enjoy a nice cold beer and a delicious lunch from one of the food trucks, which include Bandit Street Food, Masters of Burgers and Wraps, Feast Street Food, Gods of All Things Barbecue, Baja Cantina for that spicy taste of Mexico. And last but not least, Jojo's Dough on the Go for that traditional stone baked pizza. Now, one last thing that makes Bista an absolute must visit airfield is the fact that just a five minute taxi ride away is Bista Shopping Village. After stocking up with plenty of gin and beer and stuffing your bellies full of pizza and burgers, as well as the shopping, 
we definitely recommend doing a weight and balance before leaving Mr Aerodrome. This Sunday 28th of August, the Wrigley Monkey and Bandit Street Food will be showing the Belgium Grand Prix live. So why not get your PPR done, book that Airbnb room, grab the missus, the credit card and enjoy a wonderful night away at Bista. If you'd like to stay up to date with what the best UK airfields have to offer, simply like and subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and then stay tuned for the next episode of Good Airfield Grub Review. Fly safe everyone!